Hello everyone and welcome to the Video Gadgets Journal, connecting you with your technology. This is the Motorola Nexus 6, Google's new flagship handset. And as I speak, it's one of the most powerful in the world. Does that mean it has a very quick boot up time? My quest to completely dissect the Nexus 6 continues today with a boot up test. So here is the lovely six inch tablet aided today by the Samsung Galaxy S4. So I'm going to press the power button and as soon as the Google logo appears, I will start the stopwatch and we'll see how long it takes this bad boy to boot up. Now, if you've been following my journal for a while, you will remember I did a benchmark test as soon as I bought the device, which gave it a very high competitive score, making it one of the most powerful handsets around. But as my journal continues to evolve, I will look at trying to convert those numbers into actual useful information to you, the viewer, and see how the numbers actually convert into user performance. If you take Apple products, for example, the numbers on paper and their technical specifications are grossly underpowered compared to most Android flagship handsets. But I will happily admit that the Apple iOS operating system always seems to run as smooth as butter whenever I use it or see somebody else using it. So numbers aren't necessarily that important, in my opinion, of course. And when the timer reaches 55 seconds and you're looking at your brand new Nexus 6 and still wondering why it hasn't booted up yet, then you start to scratch your head a little bit. It does make you wonder whether this Android Lollipop operating system is fully optimized. Compare this to a Chromebook, seven seconds to boot up that, one minute, 12 seconds to boot up a Nexus 6. It took another five or 10 seconds to get a cellular signal. So we're looking at one minute 20 to go from a completely cold boot to be able to use your Nexus 6 completely. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to do this Nexus 6 test as soon as I bought the product. So as you can see, it does already have some applications installed on it, which may slow down the boot time a little bit. And I couldn't boot it up into a new account, which would have had no applications running to begin with. It always seemed to boot up into my main account. So as an alternative, I thought I would do a boot test comparison against another device that I've had plenty of applications on and have used for a very long time. And that's the Samsung Galaxy S4, which is about 18 months old now, and it's running Android KitKat 4.4. Now in this test, I'm trying to be as objective as, as I can. I don't want to stress too much criticism on the boot up time, but when you see your Galaxy S4 booting up now, and being able to use it and still waiting for your Nexus 6, I want to ask developers or anyone else who's out there who has the answer to this question, why does it take so long to boot up the Nexus 6? Is it Android Lollipop 5.0 or is it something in particular with this handset which makes it boot up for a very long time? Once it's booted up, it works absolutely fine. But as you can see, I'm already well into my experience with the Galaxy S4, checking news, and finally, the Nexus 6 catches up. I hope you found this boot up test intriguing. I certainly did. I was very surprised that the Nexus 6 takes so long to boot up. But let me just stress again, once a device does boot up, it is very fast and runs absolutely fine with one or two encryption queries, which I will look at in another video. Don't hesitate to share your thoughts. Please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the Video Gadgets Journal. See you in the next one.